Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you my Lumen settings for Twinmotion. I also did render the same scene with Path Tracer and also with the normal standard one, but I will discuss these settings in the next video. Today we are only talking about Lumen. For this video I rendered the same scenes without and with an HDRI, um, so that you can see the difference. Um, I think the light settings are the most important when you're rendering a scene. Um, and I also keep changing these settings a bit, uh, depending on which scene I render. And also sometimes I use an area light in my interior scene or not, um, depending on the windows and the lighting. Um, in this specific scene you see right here, I used an area light, but on just low intensity and um, I also enabled the shadows. And if I click now on the settings of the scene, you see that I'm using a sun intensity, um, also a higher exposure and also what I like to do, I like to rotate um, and change the intensity of the HDRI because I like the incidence of the sunlight. So when I go now to my camera settings, um, I like to enable depth of field. Um, but this depends on my um, camera perspective. So for this scene, I um, didn't enable depth of field, but uh, for like this scene, I enabled depth of field. Um, but back to this one, um, what I did, I also went up with the sharpness and I also enabled parallelism. Uh, for my render settings with Lumen, I usually go up with the scene detail and also with the quality and the bounce count. Um, but also, you know, this depends on your system and your computer, um, if it's capable of uh, going with the full quality. For the color grading, I usually like to go up with the contrast and a bit down with the saturation. And yeah, I render also in 4K or a bit higher, uh, but also this depends on your computer. For me personally, it hardly makes a difference whether you render with an HDRI or without one. Um, you can see the biggest difference with windows and glass. The glass material is not perfect with Lumen, so I make sure I have an HDRI in the background to make it look a bit more realistic. Um, but if you're rendering without an HDRI, it's best to make sure you get a nice incidence of sunlight. Um, so I just disable the HDRI and I go to time of the day and I just change the time of the day so that I have a nice sunlight inside the room. And sometimes I also um, go a bit higher with the exposure. It depends on the outcome of the render. If it's a bit blurry or blotchy, you can just put the exposure a bit higher. Uh, and then I usually don't change anything at all and I just go and click random. All in all, I usually only change the exposure value of my scenes and also the sun intensity. Um, also, if I use an HDRI, I like to change the sunlight rotation. Um, if I don't use an HDRI, I like to change the time of the day. Um, however, this depends on whether you have lights in the interior scene or not. Um, sometimes if I don't have big windows, um, I use an area light and in this case I have large windows, so I don't really need an area light, um, but if you do, um, I usually go for a low intensity and also I change the warmth of the light to a cooler tone and I also turn on the shadows in the area light settings. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you could learn something from that video. If you have any more questions or you need help, feel free to write me in the comments. I would be very happy if you would subscribe to this channel and yeah, I hope I see you soon in my next video. Bye!